concrete. I think they're made out of concrete. Well, anyway, they're like cowboy boots that I have on either side of my front steps and they're gonna sit up on those. But they're really heavy and kind of dirty, so we left them outside. <laughs> yeah, we were not bringing them inside. No. <laughs> Too much of a mess, for yes. sure. But once I'm done, I can take a picture and show you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I mean, you're gonna grab your pumpkins. I wanted one of each color here, and then also different sizes. That way I can stack them and create like a topiary effect. But they don't stack very well with these stems on there. So all you have to do, like for these foam pumpkins, is just give them a little tug and oh. a twist. And then these stems come right out. Okay. Well, that's way easier than trying to like squish the stem into the other foam pumpkin. There. Hey, okay, all right. And of course it left a bunch of glue. But oh. <laughs> there's your little stem. You could always use a hair dryer. And melt the glue a little yeah. bit. Yep. So I'm going to keep these because I can reuse them on like the the faux pumpkins that I made, oh, the sweater yeah. pumpkins, things like that. Oh, perfect. Then you can have yourself a little stem. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I guess stay tuned for that DIY coming up. That's <laughs> really smart. Pull some of this out a little, little ways. I think we're okay. I think that's still, yeah, that's still oh, yeah. in the stem. Oh, that's so time. cute. So I have to pull this one out too. That way that one can sit. And I like the colors you chose. Thank you. I like that it went from the orange to the white to the green. See how easy? Oh yeah. Super easy. <laughs> that one was no problem. No. He's the big guy. <laughs> yeah. And so that, I mean, you can kind of see where we're going with this. Yeah. And Very cute. I am just using hot glue to put them together. They're just foam and these have held up really nice. So I'm going to run with it. If you guys have like a better solution that like I don't have to wait for it to dry. You know, obviously super glue would probably work just fine. Oh, true. So I'm just going to put gobs of glue. Oh, well, thanks, Stacy. She says that she loves it. Oh, thank you, Stacy. Thanks for joining us for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing something a little different. Normally we don't do too much outdoor stuff once uh, the seasons start changing. Oh, and Darlene loves it too. Thank oh, you. Oh, Darlene. But, Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, it's we're at the sweet spot where we can still go outside without blowing over or freezing. So yes. we're going to take advantage of it. Now you want to work quickly and make sure that you're you're fairly centered on that. Uh, Stacy wants to know how much does this project cost? This one is a little pricey, only because these pumpkins are very expensive. But Michael's does have them 60% off currently. So I paid $8 a piece for these two and $4 for this one. So 20 bucks. So yeah, $20 for, for the three. And then I did get some embellishments. Yes. And if you're lucky to live where you can kind of grab this stuff from the <laughs> yard, <laughs> right. then it can cost you nothing to add some sticks or leaves. Or I have some Spanish moss that I actually had to pay for instead of pulling it out of the trees like I used to do in Florida. And if you had some uh, extra pumpkins from years past, you could totally reuse something that you might already have. That way maybe you only need to buy one of these pumpkins to finish your topiary yes. as opposed to all three. Well, in the Dollar Tree, they're smaller. But, I mean, you can totally, like, paint those and make them look whatever, oh, absolutely. however you want. And then put those three together. And that would be $3 because they're only a dollar. So. Yeah. Darlene says it's almost 100 here today. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. No, well, um, I checked it's on 80. On September 16th. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> it's 84 here currently, but it, that, I think it's our last 80 day. It is. Yeah. What? Fall is starting, I think, tomorrow for yeah. us. Yeah. We've had some cooler days already, but I have had, like, in my Facebook memories, I've had snow pop up. So yeah. it's not out of the question for us to get a couple inches of snow this month. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't happen. Yeah. But so, look at that. See how quick that was? Awesome, right? So now how do you embellish it? I, um, I had to buy moss, like I was saying. So I got some Spanish moss, and then I'm going to 
tuck it in in between these areas oh, right here. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see that on the one that's made. Yes. Oops. And I used a 50% off coupon from Michael's on this. So it only cost me a couple dollars for this big bag. Oh, you're welcome, Stacy. Yeah, you can definitely, if you want bigger ones, just get bigger pumpkins. You could use live pumpkins you too sure if could. you wanted to. Yeah. I have way too many deer and antelope <laughs> that come by every single day that they, they would be, they're they really big them. chunks. They eat them. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of tip this over and then run some glue. Maybe. Do you need more glue in there? <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> And then I'm just going to kind of shove it up in there. <laughs> just shove it. Seriously, this is so <laughs> easy. So easy. It just looks so cute. And then, yeah, if you like you were saying earlier, you could totally paint pumpkins. Like, how cute would that be if, for someone like me, who I do way more monochromatic decorating, have, like, a white pumpkin, a yes. gray pumpkin, and a black pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Would be super cute. Or you could paint letters on them or words or patterns. Yeah, if you did four, you could do like F-A-L-L. -L yeah. Or, or like for Halloween, it could Boo. be B-O-O. -O. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That'd be super duper cute. And yeah, I mean, if you get the Dollar Tree ones, you could do whatever you want. And a lot of people have like just white. Yeah, and that would also be really classy. Yeah. I like a mix. I'm very traditional. Yeah, how are you guys, how, how is everyone decorating? Are you guys going more like the orange, yellow, reds? Are you using, I want to know who's using the blues that I've seen this year. Because I want to see how you're decorating with them. Because I'm curious in the blue greens, I that's I think how I want to go. But I don't know how to do it just I yet. meant to tell you that... Michael's has those velvet pumpkins with the oh, deep, yeah. rich greens and yeah. blues. They're 60% off too. They are? Yes. They're so pretty. Because the deep, rich greens and blues, those are my accents yes. in my house year-round. Oh, hey, Kay. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Kay. How we're, are you? We're discussing uh, the colors that we're using in our fall decor. <laughs> And I, I really want to know who's using the really pretty, like, even the mobs. Like, I want to know who's using those. There's that pink floral yeah. look that's out this year, too. I can tell people are buying it from the store, but no one's posted their pictures. I <laughs> so I don't know how they're using it yet. But I need some inspiration, because you go more this route. I want to know what the other route looks like. <laughs> yeah, I'm very traditional. I, I try to stay traditional. But it works. It matches your stuff. Whereas I'm more out there. So I can do more out there stuff. <laughs> a little more modern. Yeah. Industrial. Yeah. I do like... See, I, I need like 10 homes. Just right. So I can have a room for all the styles that I love. Right? Oh my gosh. That would be a dream. Uh, just like get a model home and then just decorate it for people. I need to buy an apartment complex, yeah. but not to rent that old No, you need a bed and breakfast. Oh, there that you way go. you can theme each room. <laughs> okay, so this is the pumpkin room. <laughs> there you go. And over here, here's where we have all of our snowmen. And over here, we have florals. <laughs> so I kind of like it messy. I, yeah. don't, I don't know, I just, I like that. Do you That's guys like it cute. messy or cleaner? I like the messy, and also pro tip: I don't see any of your glue strings. Thank you. When it's messy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't don't look too close. Don't look too close. Oh, okay, well from here I can't. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the moss, and I'm going to add in this garland. I don't, oh, it's a five foot garland. I got this at Michaels too, sixty percent off. It was regularly fourteen dollars, but it's super pretty. Yeah. And I thought instead of buying like little picks and all that, I'm not lucky enough to be able to find this stuff in my yard. We don't have trees here. <laughs> no. We have sagebrush. I mean, we do sagebrush. <laughs> I just thought out here on the, on the prairie where I live. Well, technically, sagebrush is a bonsai plant, so you can decorate with bonsai. There. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have pine cones. No. <laughs> I learned that when we went to the Denver Botanical Gardens. Like, oh. 
Sage brush is a bonsai. Okay, good to know. That makes it sound fancier than it actually is. Yes. All right, so on this one, I started on the bottom and then kind of messed up because I wanted a, a little tail. Whoops. And there goes my problem. <laughs> it's just sitting there. It's not yeah. where it's going to stay. But I want a little tail because I'm going to set them in a grapevine wreath on top of my boot. And then this way, I can have some of this to go in the grapevine wreath also. So I think I'm going to start up here on top. Maybe use this little uh, yeah. hook thing. And then I'm just gonna wind it. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Hello oh, from hi, Jimmy. Longview, Texas. Oh, nice. Nice. We love Texas. It's so hot there, I'm sure. Yes. We love our Texas people. We love all our people. Well, that's true. <laughs> they just are a lot from Texas. <laughs> so I'm just going to wind it like in the crevice where the pumpkins met until I find that spot in the back where it came down. Like right there. And then I'm going to jump down to the next one. Oh, okay. And then wind it along that where those two meet. So kind of like where you just put the moss. Yes, where I just put the moss is where I'm going to use this. Do you need another hand? <laughs> I'm, I'm twisting. Okay, I'm going to secure this up here. Okay, that might be helpful. Because I did on the other one. thought it would stay, but it's not. Oh, thanks, Stacy. She said great tip. Yeah. We try. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We, we just try. That's it. And so I don't, as we're learning, too. Yeah, right? That's why we already made one, so we that did. we can figure out where the problem spots are so that we can tell you guys so you don't have to struggle like we do. And then I change it up and struggle anyway. Yeah, it's true. And then we're live, so there's yeah, all sorts of that's fun. difficulties. Um, Alright, let's see if I can get that to stay. Did you just hot glue it? Yes. Gotcha. And I don't know if any of you guys saw the sweatshirt that my mom's wearing, but that's kind of a, a preview of something to come <laughs> that we've been working on. So thank you for joining us live because you guys get to see it first. Yes. It's kind of a running joke here. I say everything is rustic. Yes, she does. So <laughs> I get made fun of for using the word. I'm like, you know, I'm going to get t-shirts made and shirts made. Let's say rustic. <laughs> and then Shelby made them up for me. Yep. <laughs> you know, I do my best. Oh, we are located in Casper, Wyoming. Lovely Casper. Yes. I don't know if you've ever been in this area, but it's a little different from Texas. <laughs> yes. It's not staying. Uh-oh. Let me put more glue. Okay. That's always the, the best plan of attack. Just add, if in doubt, add more glue. Just add more glue. Have you tried duct tape yet? No. This should hold it. <laughs> I just don't think I had enough. Yeah. You've been using a lot in this project. Yeah. And I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> My glue gun. Sometimes it works great. Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, obviously it worked once because it worked on the first one that we made. <laughs> yeah. And you know, that one went fast. Of course. She was like, how long did it take you? Like, oh, 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that doesn't account for, you know, we're talking. I'm distracting yeah. you. But it looks so cute already. Good. So if the glue was cooperating with you faster. Exactly. I'd be done. Because this is probably your hardest part. And if I had, like, individual picks where I could just stick them where I wanted, that might be easier too, but. Right. Yes, you should definitely come visit Wyoming. Oh, there's so much to see here. Our only running joke here in Wyoming is come and visit, but then you gotta leave. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is just, I should have just went the other way. Uh, Stacy asks, what kind of glue gun do you use? It's from Michael's. It's Art Mines. And it's just a little one. I need one that's cordless. That's yes. That's the next thing. Hmm, maybe a Christmas gift? Oh. oh. 
All right, guys, you have to you have to remember and remind me closer to Christmas that she wants a cordless. Because <laughs> she's getting a smoker for her birthday, and I don't think you want me to put off the smoker till Christmas. So... No. <laughs> I don't want to put it off, because she already told me what she wants to make with it. Yes. Well, smoked meats, of course. Yeah, exactly. Anything smoked is so yummy. That, right. That's how she convinced me. I'm like, well, I don't want to get you a smoker. That's like a big gift. Dad should buy that for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but look at all these recipes. Oh, okay. Now I'm sold. <laughs> all right. I have my little tail. Yeah. I think that I just winded it around. And then you kind of have all of these. It's 3D. Little, it is. And I like that. We've already put this one out on the boot and it looks so cute. Oh, hello, Carrie. Uh, she is tuning in from Alabama. Hi, and Carrie. We got those pumpkins at Michael's, you said? Yes. Yes, we did. I see the difference now. I didn't go up to the top. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. I'm that's like, why it wasn't. That, I'm that's like, why I don't happened. have enough tail here. What uh, is happening? Uh, what just happened? Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. <laughs> the screen went blank for a sec. Oh, I don't no. know what happened. Is this my camera that got fixed? Yeah. Oh, boy. Hold on, are we, oh, sorry guys, let me fix this real fast. Uh, boop, 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 now you can see what I see. Okay, what is happening? I don't know, um, there's a line down it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it's like, okay, so we were filming earlier and it did this weird thing where um, it, Hold on, I'm trying to like do two things and like talk. Okay, we're Are we back. back? <laughs> Are we back? Yeah, wow, that was crazy. We did this thing where we were recording and it, it just, just decided it was done recording. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Technology, man. Oh, and you're welcome, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. Yay. <laughs> that was crazy. Thanks for bearing with us. Yeah, okay. I'm watching it on my phone so I can kind of see what's happening. Yes. All right, now I have my tail. There it There's is. There's the tail. Yay. So there is my second pumpkin. Or my... Your second topiary? Topiary, yes. So these are going to go on either side of my perch. How cute, oh, right? How cute. I love them. So I will have to take a picture once I get them installed. What I'm going to do is get, I have one grapevine leaf, I have to get another one. Oh, so yeah. I didn't think this through very well. <laughs> and this didn't really sit on the top of the boot flush, but with the wreath it did. And I think I'm also going to do like a piece of rebar or dowel and stick down into the dirt of the boot because it's a planter. And then up into the bottom of this. So it wants to sit there. So we get wind and animals. And if they come and nudge this, because they're going to. They absolutely are going to. Then it'll stay put with something. Because these are just foam. So it'll just sit right on that. And then and we'll post a picture when we get them on the boots. Yes, when they are all ready. So you'll have to stay tuned for our front porch display. Well, I may show the boots tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. So, yay. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh my gosh, this is great. Love you guys. I think that's, that's all I got. Are we still working? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my computer I'm, girl here, Shelby. I'm focused. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby is my daughter, so she comes and works for free. Yeah, what a great deal, guys. <laughs> I give her food. Yeah. So technically, she works for food. I do. <laughs> it, it actually is a pretty good deal when you look at it that way. <laughs> she knows all the ins and outs of photography and how to get all of this working. We have lights and... Microphones. Microphone. Yeah. We tried to do this about this time last year, and the microphone situation was... Kind of tricky. Uh -huh. Most of the time you couldn't even hear what I was saying. So we finally have gotten that figured out. Thank goodness. Yes. So. 
All right. Well, that's what I have for today. Thank you all so much for joining us and taking time out of your day to join us. You guys go and have a great day and happy crafting.